Hello honeys, it's yours and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I'm not even gonna leave you in suspense. Yes, I quit my 9 to 5 for YouTube. Wait, what? What? <laughs> yeah. So I am currently serving my one month's notice in corporate, the very last month of me being in a 9 to 5 corporate job. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this video. If you do enjoy it, of course, give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you think of my decision. Keen to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, do subscribe if you haven't already. We have reached 9,000 subbies, which I'm super grateful for. And if you haven't joined the family, why not just click the subscribe button and join the Y'all's channel family. I love you guys so, so much and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey there, <laughs> it's y'all's channel. Let's get into the deets, the juice, the tea <laughs> on, you know, what went down this week. So a couple of days ago, I just decided, let me just hand in my resignation. It's something that I've been thinking of for months and I've been talking about it to, you know, the boo, the bae. And it went from pillow talk to serious talk to just on Tuesday, which was a couple of days ago, me deciding I'm doing this, you know, let me just hand it in. So I always had the draft of my resignation letter, which is funny. Um, and I also think somehow one knows the, the minute you don't feel, the minute you feel your body not feeling like work, constantly not that one time when you just don't want to wake up on a Monday morning but every morning you have to convince yourself and psych yourself up for getting up and pushing someone else's dream when you get there honestly the first thing I think of is jump but then I'm like whoa 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 reality you got bulls at the end of the month so think twice about it and that's sort of what's been stopping me um on Tuesday I just rounded up my finances had to think about what would happen if I jumped then and there, if I were to leave effectively, effective immediately, which I wanted, but you know what, there's a lot of work to be done at work and I've got a lot of handovers to do. So I'm serving a month, but I was comforted by the fact that I could jump then and there and still be sorted at the end of the month and the next few coming months because of what YouTube has brought about and social media and all the work that I've done with brands, thankfully. So that was the cushion. Um, and I just needed that last push. Yes, to be honest, something happened. I'm not even too sure what exactly, but something ticked me off on Tuesday. Already Monday night I was ticked off. I remember sort of like tweaking. I, I actually did. I tweaked my resignation letter and I saved it. Not knowing that I'd do it the next morning, but I knew it was coming. I knew either April, if not May, it would be June. But you know what? It was coming. And then Tuesday morning, I sat in front of my screen, both screens. I took a deep breath and I was done. I texted my husband saying I can't do this any longer. And he called me right away. I left the office and it wasn't a surprise to him because again, we've been talking about it for so long. So, he was just concerned, of course, because I do have a property in Cape Town. I do own it, and that comes with a lot of expenses outside of just your mortgage. You know, you've got rates and taxes to pay. You've got levies if you're living in a secure complex. So if, if you have a sectional title, you also have levies. and That whole shebang is a lot of work and a lot of money at the end of the month. One that needs to be sustained, whether you like it or not, and it's high risk. So that was my biggest concern, to be honest with you. Fortunately, like I said, I had saved up, I have saved up a lot of money that I think could sustain me, but I've got a lot of work ahead, you know, in terms of just keeping the momentum going, constantly um, working with brands, working with different people to grow my YouTube channel and make it a living. I, did I think it would be this soon, as in, you know, Tuesday, um, this past week? Not really. But I saw it coming. I've been talking about it for way too long. And I did <laughs> Myself and a colleague actually left at the same time, which was not planned. It was totally not planned. But again, it was just one of those things where for both of us, we share mutual interests of um, doing more with our lives. 
and growing. So unfortunately the role that I've been in as much as I did get a promotion last year, I still felt like I was doing the same thing that I did last year and I couldn't really measure the, the growth in terms of my, my career advancement. And once that's not the pilling oh, so you know, there was just no flavor anymore. And the stress levels as well, I was thinking of my health, I've never been an anxious person, but suddenly I was. I've just become more anxious lately. And if it's not this, it's that. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about that. And I was also, you know, just, I think, tired of corporate. I've always been, I've always known that I'm not made for corporate. You know, as a creative person, what's for you and what's not. And you know when you're not leveraging fully on your, strength and your strengths and your capabilities. And that's where I was at. And I hate that feeling. I hate stagnating. I hate idling or being in one place. And you know what? I'm also grateful for the opportunity that they afforded me in corporate and in the space that I was in. But there was also just that major gap. Business need versus your own personal and professional development. There was just that major gap that that I just couldn't bridge and I couldn't see a, a solution for that. Again, that too, one says no, when you, when you kind of look for a solution and you look for resolve and you can't find it, man, look for another job if you want to stick around in the same field, which I would still love to, I'll probably go back to commercial property in the next year, if not two, you know, buying my own property, managing some, or just working for a corporate, but I need enough flexibility for my creativity to balance that because my biggest thing is fulfillment, which is also why I moved to Johannesburg. And I'm blabbing so much because a lot of you probably don't know this. And it's very important for me to share that because it's it's why why I largely just did it, you know, and I was hard for you get to that point where you're just like, I'm done, actually. This is just not worth my time. I'm wasting my time here. Even if, you know, you are seen as an asset, but you don't feel like you you are growing and you can't measure that. And yeah, and if you also have other interests, like I did, and I didn't feel like I was afforded that much scope to branch out and be as creative as I want to be. Um, also, you can't force fit, you know, you can be fit for a business, for season as well but not for the long term it just it's life it happens and then also business need changes over time industry changes over time our economy affects more and more of what we do as businesses and less and less of being people focused and people centric and employee centric and that too is just the nature of the beast you know if you're working for corporate that's what you need to expect that's what it is um and yeah, that's what led to my decision. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm over the moon about my decision. I'm so relieved that I finally have this thing off my shoulders. It was so heavy on me that I am pushing someone else's dream and not mine. And the day I just handed in my resignation, I, I felt so liberated. I can't explain it. So yeah, I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it for me. I'm not doing it for anyone else. I've got the full support of my husband, which I'm so grateful of. I am so, so grateful to the Lord for blessing me with somebody who can fully support me in this. He believes in my ideas. He believes in the work that I've done with brands. He's assisted me with proposals. He's just, he's just that person that you hope to have when you dream about, you know, your dream partner one day. And I'm grateful for that because he pushes me. I push him, we motivate each other. And I think with that on my side, more than that, with God on our side, we can achieve anything. As long as we put our mind to it, we pray about it, we, you know, bring before the Lord our plans and we allow him to let his plans prevail. And if it's in his plan, it will happen. So I'm a strong believer of that. I'm just ready for him, you know, to, to guide me into this new journey. I know it wasn't one that was made overnight. So I'm grateful that it wasn't a decision that I just, I woke up and I just quit, you know, it's been something that's been coming for months. And I would advise you too, if you also have the mindset of, oh, let me go, full-time you know being a creative full-time it's not an easy decision I'm a big saver for one I believe in always having backup financially 
So if you're somebody that's quite the opposite and you're a spender more than you are a saver, this might not be the right path for you if you are in corporate. A secure salary might be what you need. For me personally, waking up every morning and getting to work and just pushing this thing for somebody got more and more frustrating every day. I can't do that. I've got dreams, I've got visions, I've got things and thankfully this YouTube thing had already been going on and I believe I can sustain myself, I can sustain my family with what I already make on YouTube. I'm grateful for that. I do not say it in a way that's boastful. I say it with so much gratitude because not many of us can say that. A lot of us are on this platform for fun. I started it for fun and I saw what it could bring and now it's generating enough income for me to go. Yes, let's do this. So yeah. I'm not going to blab too much, I've already probably taken up so much of your time but I wanted to open up and sort of make you understand where my mind was at and why the decision and sort of how the decision was brought about but it's something I've been thinking of. I didn't think it would be so soon, you know, again, you don't want to force God's hand. You also don't, you never know his timing. I do believe that when I did submit my resignation, the, the relief that came thereafter was just confirmation that it's your time, you know. You can't keep doing this. Anxiety and stress are just not my best friends and they were becoming a constant thing and that too is very unhealthy. So give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on my decision. Um, it's a crazy one. I do expect, you know, sort of mixed feelings in the comment section, but I'm also expecting a lot of positiveness. Um, yeah. That's, that's me in a nutshell. That's what I'm going to be doing and I just wanted to let you guys in on that little secret and expect more videos on my channel, expect more content. I'm hoping for better content. The weather isn't doing us any justice. I do have lighting but every time I put it on with my backdrop something happens. I film, this is the second time I'm filming this video, different location. Things just sometimes don't want to work out. So we do our best and we believe that God will do the rest. Otherwise, I'm done blabbing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking that subscribe button and join the Y'all's channel family. We are all about love here. We're all about pushing each other and encouraging and motivating each other here. We're also all about her, in case you don't know. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. And this is where I'll end this video. I'm blabbing so much. This is where I'll end it. Bye. <laughs>